So hello hello guys, it's me and my face again and my new Ukrainian merch. What do you think about this? In this dummy intro I'm showing you how to create layered clothing and how to dress up in apartment if you are cold. Yeah guys, I'm kind of weirdo and despite how much I like Christmas Carol, Thanksgiving preparation and you know Black Friday FOMO and vlogmas that YouTube will be full of with with next months. Winter is Ukrainians coming unfortunately. Unfortunately for Ukrainians and we are facing with new challenges. And in this video I want to show you how regular Ukrainians, not wealthy, not rich, but like regular people in Ukraine are trying to prepare to this hard time. But before we start our video, I want to take advantage of my background. Have you noticed white and red? And I want to congratulate my viewers from Poland and my Poland friends with Independence Day. I sincerely wish your country would prosper and be successful and be democratic. So God be with you. But back to that topic. You know that Russia managed to destroy our energy facilities on 40%, as President Zelensky said. And also our government warned us that we should not wait for governmental measures, but try to supply and provide for ourselves bare minimum list of the things and stuff that will help us to survive blackouts in the winter, for example, from 24 hours till the 72 hours. If you're familiar with my shirt content, you may probably know that I'm buying canned food that doesn't require any preparation. And every week we are trying to increase our food supplies. And this week we have bought military food package. Actually two military food packages. So you see that this food actually needs some boiled water to be prepared. And in this case scenario, our heavy artillery is enabled. This guy. This is gas balloon that working in combination with gas torch or gas burner for tourism. To be honest, it's quite expensive for Ukrainians. It cost $63. And literally I don't know how to use it. Actually my hope is for my husband. But in case of emergency I will learn survival skills as up. Truthfully saying and to be honest there is no much can be done in the flat, in the apartment if you are living with thousands of people in block of flats together. It can be dangerous. Put a handmade chimney and create heating with the woods, it could be extremely dangerous. And our government also told us that if we know for sure in advance that it will be not any heating in our house in block of flats and if we are living near front line under constant bombing and shelling, it's better leave that place till spring. Some Ukrainians that has a financial possibility have bought a lot of power banks to charge their devices. And this guy has a solar battery and can charge from the sun. You see indicator that shows that it's now charging. And this monster on the budget is capable to charge even laptop. It has 65 watt of power. Not because we're so addicted to social media, but because we need to work. You know, 20% of Ukrainians were blessed to work online. Me, a man of them. I was blessed not to lose my job. Thank you to Jesus. And I'm able to provide not only for myself, but also for my mom and my granny. Uh, my mom has a tiny salary and my granny has minimal retire wage. She is retired and has $100 a month. This bare minimum only to survive for food, guys. Clothing. 
it's crucial to have warm clothing in the house, especially if you are spending 24 seven uh, time in your apartment as me, because I'm working online and living here. Now outside is six degrees above zero. It's quite cold already. So all my clothing have a layers and it's important to wear layers correctly. All my home clothing has layers and warm underneath. And I decided to go above and beyond and bought warm slippers slash hooks for housing and trekking socks. Believe me guys, they are extremely warm and in combination with trekking socks, I'm overheating when I'm in the house. And one warm trousers is not enough and that is why I bought another one. And guys, sorry about my crazy dancing here. At this day I was recording this video, her son was liberated. However, it's better to have more than stuff than less in case you will need it. But I'm praying to Jesus every night and encourage you to pray for Ukrainians that we would never need this stuff in winter. That winter could be warm and we have electricity, central heating and all this stuff and would be just fine. And if we survive this winter, stop when we survive this winter. I will gather all this stuff for all this touristic equipment and went hiking to Carpathian mountains for sure, maybe on the mountains Haverla and we'll have some emotional and physical retreat and we celebrate with you guys for sure. And while you're watching this video and like such type of content, I encourage you to put thumbs up to this video to help YouTube algorithm to share it with another folks, maybe who are craving to know information about current situation in my country. And of course, we have gathered drinking water, because if we have blackout and no electricity, it equals we have no rotted water. So if we have blackouts on 48 hours, this water will be vital for us. So guys, I will probably leave this hat in the combination of the sweet shot because it gives me some college vibe and makes me younger. <laughs> yeah, guys, the main purpose of this video was to show you that we are real people. We are living in Ukraine now and struggling with our daily issues. And this is not the distance video from CNN. Me and Jane from Ukraine are living now in Ukrainian Lviv in the war time and I'm telling you my story and want to encourage you no pushing I just want to encourage you if you have some extra clothing food or even money you have some extra one or two dollar everything makes sense all help is valuable I encourage you to donate if you have such possibility so thank you for watching it till the very very end and hope to see you in the next video God be with you